Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special and very unique video. Um, it's uh, new to my channel. I'm here with a special guest, Sea Otter Gamer. What's up, guys? How's it going out there? <laughs> and we're gonna check out some cool Realm of the Mad God action. Mm -hmm. uh, I I haven't played too much of this game myself. I'm pretty new to it, but I I saw Mr. Sea Otter's videos and really liked them a lot so th i thought it would be some cool stuff if we got into some action yeah definitely you know i'm really excited to have someone to play with uh usually uh this sounds really sad but i just kind of play here on my own server <laughs> by myself so uh i think it'll be a cool change of pace to see how this works with a second player if you will so yeah i agree yeah. like i i played a little bit of it earlier and for the most part i was really confused but <laughs> that's I'm, all right <laughs> we'll figure this out together <laughs> yeah 100 percent so. um so i just got into the main hub world as this okay. rogue dude all right and i'm gonna play my wizard here so i'm left a wand on... that dude took it oh. Oh. What, what what level are you uh i am level 11 oh oh god i'm level one so. oh i see you <laughs> wait stop oh. come back Let's all right go. i'm Let's the wizard go. Just going back and forth in front of you. Uh, and Mr. Zanto Zan, yeah, yeah. Zantos. Yes. Right, I, I just never changed my name. So, uh, <laughs> let's see. I think I can click on you. Uh, here we go, and lock you here. Whoa, so, how do you do that? Bottom right hand corner. Find my name. Whoa. Click on me and hit lock. And now you'll always know where I am. That's so cool. Right. Uh let's, yeah, let's uh let's let's come up here and I'll let you pick a world. Oh look, they did their special like Halloween thing. That's awesome. I know there's this big pumpkin here. I saw it before. Right? It's like really funky looking. I love when games do that when they specialize for different holidays and it is it's really nice. Yeah. Like Oh, uh, what's in the bag? A staff. Oh, not as good as mine. All right. Uh we'll, um so you want to go to beholder yeah let's do it that seems like it's gonna find him out people oh this dude wants to trade with me sorry buddy uh reject and enter beholder uh, okay so see. so so if I, I was trying to figure out how this game works exactly both remembering your videos and from the bit of play i got before already basically uh, basically we, you just kind of walk around uh dodge enemy fire and fire at them. I mean, for the most part, you just want to focus on not dying. <laughs> so, because when you die, oh, I just leveled up. Excellent. Hey, uh, nice. When you die, you have to start all the way over from level one or level zero. So I, I experienced that unfortunately with the uh, oh, what, what was he the 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 archer character or the oh yeah that I played last time. Um, he was pretty cool. This dude wants to trade again. No. No. Sorry, buddy. Right? Oh, so I don't want your right stuff. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sure. Give me your cloak, man. Oh, God. I can't accept the trade. I got uh, one of those steam things popping up. He's oh, yeah. Wait. Wait. Maybe oh, he's going to give you stuff. I don't know. Like a hug. A cool thing. I got to say, except. Oh, my God. He's giving me like a sword and a cloak. Nice. Thank you, my good sir. Let's go ahead. 20 through 75. That sounds pretty good. Right on. <laughs> All right, um, so... Oh, one more thing before we get started. I uh, see how I'm now locked here in the bottom right. Um, we uh, can yeah. teleport to each other now. Really? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, oh my god. So if we <laughs> so cool. if we lose each other, um, <laughs> not to worry. So Can I we? I was um, gonna follow you around. Um, right. So because I don't think you want to fight the boss on my screen. Okay. So. <laughs> I've got. I mean, that, that's one thing I was gonna ask if they're if the these bosses are like level based. So, they are. Yep. Okay. So yep. this Mr. Elfman is gonna be like really easy for you, well, mm -hmm. not so much for me, or something like that. Yep. And so oh, yeah. when you get to a certain level, new bosses will will pop up um, mm -hmm. as your quest. So right now I have an N Ancient, um, which I think pops up when you get to like level ten or something. Oh God. So. I, on my wizard, and no, our archer dude that I played, I was oh. able to get to level 12, I think? Nice. It, I know, it made me right? feel very accomplished. I was so happy. 
But, um, I usually I'm... can't get past about level 15 um, if I even get that high because I end up getting cocky and dying. So, <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh god. None of them... It, it, I might have just been lucky, and in some cases I think I did have some dudes save me, but none of the guys I've come up against have been too fearsome. At, at least until right. I got to like, the, the big boss battle final stage in the game. Like the, the Godlands? Oh, you mean when you get like ter uh, teleported to his castle? Yeah, I, I believe so. That's when like the world starts shaking and everything yeah. gets crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that was not... Ha a happy place for me. No. <laughs> find a happy place. Find a happy place. Oh, God. Um, I know exactly what you mean. It was um, so bad. <laughs> usually, if I'm under level 10 and I get teleported, I just go back to the Nexus. <laughs> you can just leave? Yeah. Um, Pretty funny. You see, Pretty under the map, yeah. there's that little, like, Roman Colosseum-y tab there. Oh, yes. Um, if you click it, you go back. And the, also, there's a hot key there. So I have mine set to tab, so I can quickly Ooh. escape if my health is low and I don't have any potions. Um, so, and I think I've done that in some of my other videos before. So, <laughs> so if if I click that, I'll be teleported back, right? Right to the pumpkin. Okay, so I I shouldn't do that now. <laughs> well, you can, and then you come back into Beholder, and you can teleport right back to me. Oh, oh, that's a good point. Right. That's cool. So don't don't be afraid to if you're about to die. You know you won't hurt my feelings or anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd yeah. Egg go? He yeah. doesn't like me anymore. I know I can but, just like run away and right leave forever. Like I'm going oh, to God, Medusa. I, <laughs> I had no idea what you were talking about when you said the rabbits before. They like freaking catch on fire. They do, and it's they insane. go crazy. <laughs> Next time I won't kill it, and you can watch how crazy they get. They like start like teleporting around the screen or something. Oh. It's yeah, it's it's something something else, you know. Oh but I think I've definitely killed them before they've gotten to that point because I haven't seen that. Oh my god, did you just do a a blind loop? This? No, no, no. The noise that the dudes make when we hit them. Oh, I think it was a. Uh, not gnome, uh, halfling, I think is what those were. Okay, I was just curious because one of them was like particularly loud, so I right? thought it might have been you. Oh no. <laughs> and I was really confused. I am crazy, but I'm not that crazy, I, I promise. Jesus Christ! This guy's angry. I don't like him one bit. So is it does. Is my weapon shorter range than yours? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sucks. Do yeah. I get any other boosts? Oh, this weapon is kick ass. I'll take Does, do it. Uh, grab the ring too if you don't have any. Actually, do you want health or attack? Uh, I usually like attack over health. Cool. Dude, but uh, but I could. Oh, uh, awesome. <laughs> oh no. You, there you, you go, boss. Good with giving me that for free. Oh yeah. Why I'll have to take it out. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, my good sir. No problem. That's why I'm here. Um, usually I pick up all the good stuff and then if I don't use it I go and drop it in the world for all the newer players to pick up oh, because cool. you know I appreciate it when people do that for me so yeah, why yeah, not definitely. it's better than yeah, just leaving it there right <laughs> we'll only go to waste that's right but, um, th that's uh, that's another thing I w uh, want to ask do various traits like mean different things for different characters like I I know when I was using the uh, archer dude mm -hmm. that uh, I, I found a dexterity ring and I was like, oh, that sounds freaking badass for my archer. Like, he's he's an archer dude. He, sh he should be exceptionally like, good at dexterity. Right, he should be like nimble or something, like Legolas or something. Yeah, yeah. Right? But, but does that... It would like would that would those traits be better used on someone like him or are they pretty much evenly distributed between all the characters you know different classes are definitely built for different um traits for instance you're like what i can't remember the soldier class oh god not paladin the other one the knight the, um, okay. doesn't really use much magic so i wouldn't mm -hmm. add a magic ring to him. Okay, I see. Right. I don't really use. Well, I kind of use attack, but not really. So I, 
I usually don't use like strength ones, so. I'm a big attack guy for the most part in things. Like I, I love increasing my damage per second in games. You know, there's definitely different st uh, strategies. You know, um, being the tank who can take a lot of damage, or the guy who's like the glass cannon, if you will. Oh God! Who will? Glass cannons are so fun. Right. <laughs> like, I, what, what, any game that has a kind of um, a risky mechanic in, in regards to like a glass cannon is something I love. Definitely. My problem is I always forget to look at my health, <laughs> so um, that that doesn't bode well for me in a lot of situations. But it's it's fun nonetheless, and you know we play these games for fun. So who cares if you die 800 times? You know, yeah. As long as you're having fun. Oh my God! So many arrows. Let's see. I feel like my guy's a total badass. I got like just with this outfit. Oh yeah. I can't tell if he's bald, but I kind of want to add that feature onto him. <laughs> he almost looks like he has, Holy like a, uh, like stubble on his head or something. I know. Right. I know. And, and like an army soldier. You know, I'm gonna say he has a faux hawk. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. He's got a bandana and a faux hawk. Oh, good lord. Yes, I gained a level. Nice. So, what where, what uh, level are you at? Uh, only six. Six. Not, like, okay. We're getting there. Oh yeah, I just turned 13 on this one. So. Oh man. Yeah. Is there any ideal level for like taking out the final boss dude or anything like that? Oh you man. You know, you oh, cap out at 20. Oh okay. So once you hit 20, there's no more levels to be had. Um, but there's definitely more stuff you can do. You know. Okay. There's the Godlands. There's all the the gods that you can go kill the Cyclops and stuff. Um, there's Oryx in his castle. Uh, once you hit 20, you start getting fame. Oh, and, yes, yes, right? I saw the fame points and all that. Oh, do you want like, to kill oh this my. necromancer, or...? Oh, Jesus Christ, this is almost pissed. Yeah. He does not... He's not happy with me. Uh, but sure, yeah, this... Because he's kind of difficult, so... Oh, God. I think I I'm just helping. had a... Yeah, he's my quest right now, so hopefully I'm okay. capable of taking him out. He is quite powerful, though. Uh, I don't, is, there we what go. What's the dealio Just... with my ability? I don't really like it. With what? <laughs> Your with ability? ability yeah, you turn honestly. invisible, so people won't attack you. Like, I don't Ooh, like it, new though. spell. <laughs> yeah. I it's like a fun class, but... But I prefer a little bit more ranged, so oh. that's you know, why. The, this range thing is kind of interesting, I will say. Um, right. Do you know what my guy is more powerful at base, and that like balances things? I don't or think so. I think you just don't get attacked. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, hover over. You you have your your dagger, and then the one next to it. Hover over it. It'll tell you exactly what what it does oh so that's your ability yep mm -hmm. okay I, so I you can pick up um upgrades to it so the base one i think just makes you invisible as you upgrade it i think it does do other things as well okay so like let's see um oh it gives me plus five speed there you go and some fame bonus which i suppose is pretty cool yeah <laughs> is it i assume the fame is just like score it um, is i think you can also purchase things with it oh. i think okay. back at the nexus there's those stores um it i'm a little rusty it's been at least a month or so since i've played so i don't oh. quite remember oh uh, level not up the bees <laughs> the bees <laughs> oh i don't know if they've ever seen the wicker man i, I, I haven't but it's a silly movie. <laughs> right? Oh, good I Lord. like silly movies. Oh, God, I'm dying. I know, there's so many there bees here. <laughs> like, horrible. Uh, too many bees. <laughs> uh, hit F. To... Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm about You're gonna to die. die. Leave the Nexus. Okay. I had, like, one hit point left. That was insane. Whoa. Oh, I love how fast your health goes back here. Oh, nice. the, uh, the fountains 
uh, uh, revive your health. Okay, I was yeah. thinking it was probably something like that. Yep. Uh, teleport. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh God, slime monsters out. The bee is still alive. Oh, sorry, I didn't kill it. Jerk. There we go. <laughs> oh, now I'm dying. Oh no. Oh. Oh, shit. look at that uh, one for you up there. Can you use that? Oh uh, wait. Oh no, warrior She's knight right. paladin. Oh, am I the rogue? I mean, it's, oh, I'm... not usable by the rogue. Yeah. Okay. That is a badass looking sword. That's... There's one just like that, but it's a oh, dagger gosh. that's usable for you. Oh man. It's pretty awesome looking. Hopefully I'll get that eventually. This this one dude, he was like so nice in, in the game I played earlier. He handed me like this three shot bow and I was nice. the happiest man on the planet. Because there's no level caps for him. It's yeah. not, you have to be level 20, you have to be level 10, you know. It's just if you find it, you can use it. So. Oh. oh. Oh! No! Oh! oh God, I'm all alone in the world. Avenge me! <laughs> awful. This big eyeball is being a big jerk about things too. Right. Where would he go? He just ran away. So wood. I'm gonna play something else. Okay. Let's. Hey. Would you say a knight or a paladin? Um, I've always been a paladin guy. All right, we'll go I don't for know it. How good they are in this game. These slime things are really funky. I think the paladin can also heal, oh, which okay. I feel is going to be useful. Yeah, so that, that sounds really good in like the later stages of the game, especially. Oh my god, it's like a swarm! I'm being like attacked by everything right now. I've got like stealth and get out of here. That's actually worked pretty well. Can I do anything with your grave, like mourn you or? No, I mean you can. You know, for, forever remember me in your heart, but. <laughs> There should be a necromancer class that could like revive people. I think that would kind of break the game, though. <laughs> <laughs> you you could come back as like a skeleton though, and you're like right? after stats or something. I don't know. Oh god, I'm level one. Whoa. I just remembered. <laughs> you look pretty awesome. Let's see. So so should we follow? Should I follow like all of your quests and oh, stuff? Oh yeah, probably. All right. Oh man. Oh god. I don't like these swamp ooze monsters. Oh no, neither of us have like really good attack spells. Actually, we? I went back to my chests and I grabbed nice armor and a ring and a nice sword. That's so awesome. I at least have some stuff to fall back on. In the Nexus, there's a big gold door with some chests that you can hide some good stuff in there. Okay. Oh, this dude slowed me. What a jerk. I know, right? And the. It's not uh, global or anything, I presume. Like, people can't just steal from your chest or... No, it's it's personal. Okay. Yeah, so. uh-huh. Because that would be weird. Your guy Although... has some really nice horns on his hat. Yeah, he's very horny. <laughs> <laughs> it's rather masculine. It yep. kind of intimidates mm -hmm. me a little. Yeah, I killed the big horn sheep myself to make this. <laughs> so, uh, where are we off to now? Uh, this way, apparently. All right. Let me see. Look at my map. Oh, oh God. The, those are like weird shurikens or ninja stars. Right. Let's see. Um, I also like all these mushrooms here that are just standing about. We should be able right. to like pick them up and eat them or something. Whoa, sumo! Ah, oh, there we go. Level up. I like how you regain all your health and stamina and everything when you level up as well. It it's is very nice. So nice. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean I no complaints like, there. <laughs> I feel like that is like a a require. Personally, like gameplay wise, I feel like that should be like a requirement in most games most with games. leveling up. Except um, for like Dark Souls or something. Oh yeah, ex right. except for Dark Souls, um, certainly. But for then, then obvious like Dark reasons. Dark Souls, you can only level up at the bonfires, so oh, you yeah? get fully healed anyways. I'm gonna admit I've never played that game, so oh, okay. I want okay. to. I just haven't picked it up, you know. It's so. damn good. <laughs> That's why I've heard. I, so. I love it. It is very, very difficult though. But, but personally, um, I, I feel like it's nowhere near as difficult as people make it out to be, because uh, like most really hard, struggling games like that, it's it's just pattern memori memorization for right. the most part. And like, I think most games are kind of like that. I, I agree, 100%. Like, just learning how the enemies attack and how to deal with them successfully and stuff like that. 
Oh yeah. You know, when you look back at old classic games, you know, you know I'm a Sega Genesis guy and uh -huh. love all those old games. That's what you did. You yeah. you know, your reward was, oh, I got, you know, five minutes more in the game before I died and had to restart, you know? And then now yeah. you know what the next boss does, right? Yeah. And then you, you played those games over and over and every time you got a little bit closer to winning you know like battle toads and all of those and there was a lot of reward in that and now the games are more i don't want to say spoon fed but a little bit you know I, what i mean I, I i could agree to that to some extent but um th the good thing i feel like is with all these new indie developers and stuff like that i feel like we're entering a new golden age of like the hardcore um a hardcore game basically. absolutely like, definitely um it, it's it, i i think we're looking at great things i think so too you know <laughs> and these indie developers you know they they pour their heart heart and soul into these games you know and they stay up late and they pl uh they code it and recode it and make sure everything's as perfect as they can and they do a really good job you know I know. Like, I just wish they got as much recognition as some of the other ones, but... Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, going off of what you were saying, my, my favorite, like, gaming scene is definitely the indie scene. Um, it, because it's the games are just so much more personalized, you know? Absolutely. Because they have to put all that work into it. They do a lot of innovation, too, you yeah. know? So yeah. I think... Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff that comes out of the indie scene that yeah. you wouldn't normally see um, in some of the bigger ones. But, you know, maybe. I mean, I'm not knocking big developers and stuff because they do a lot of good work too. So Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, um... I would say it's just a thing for the most part nowadays I'm more disappointed by major developers than indie developers. Right. Um, but as of late, there hasn't really been any games that have struck me as, um, basically all, all the AAA titles that have come out recently, I've been very happy with. I haven't been able to play many. Right. <laughs> because I'm a Mac user and, um, well, currently a Mac user, I'll say, because I want to go to PC eventually, but, um, uh, and I don't have my Xbox with me here at college. Oh, so. yeah. I, I can't play any of the new console releases. Gotcha. But from what I've seen online through like other Let's Plays and stuff like that, everything looks like phenomenal. For oh, definitely. Part. You know, I'm really excited. I pre-ordered um, the new Call of Duty game, Call of Duty okay. Ghosts. Um, I was going to do the uh, Battlefield 4 as well. Eventually I'll get it, but I just can't afford both right now. Yeah. Um, you know, we have Assassin's Creed 4 coming out uh, this week, I believe. Uh, mm. Batman Arkham Origins, Ooh, which yeah. looks really good as well. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of really good games um, of the AAA games that are coming out in the next two weeks, you know. Yeah. So I'm definitely excited for a lot of those as well. So. I, I haven't kept up with the the Battlefield series too much myself, but I've I've heard really good things about it. Let's I would see. definitely give it a look. Um, they have a lot of really cool stuff with, like, what's the word I'm looking for? They call it levolution, but where you oh. can like destroy buildings <laughs> and stuff. Oh yes. Yes. See, so, see, like, this is one thing that's always confused me. Um. The only one that I've played is the uh, Battlefield Bad Company, the, the okay. original. Okay, right. And it, it, so that is that like qualified as one of the like uh, one of the games in that series or genre? Not genre, just series. It is, but it isn't. So, okay. have you played a lot of the Call of Duty games? Not as of late. The Not last as of one late. that I played was uh, the first Black Ops, but I haven't okay. played any of them since. So when you look at like Black Ops and Modern Warfare, they have these kind of like series, you know? You have Modern Warfare 1 and 2 and 3 and Black Ops 1 and 2. Yeah. So there's these series that they're all Call of Duty games, but they have different storylines kind of. Okay, so, so it's just following that mechanic. Right. So okay. the way I look at it is... 
Battlefield and Bad Company are the same like game series, but they have different storylines. That's cool. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, I like all of those i'm not you know oh battlefield sucks oh call of duty sucks you know i don't really care it's a game i play it to have fun you know i don't like i, I don't really pick and choose between uh things like that either like I, i'm really big into dota right um even though i'm garbage <laughs> you're better than me because i've never played it so i've downloaded <laughs> it it's in my steam library i oh. just haven't played it so you're Definitely better than I am. I'll have to say that. So. Oh my God, this eye just won't leave us alone. Oh God, but, dying. Um, okay, I'm back. I'm back. They, they're, they're tricky. Like I, I know people hate the use of the term MOBA, but MOBAs are are tricky stuff, to be sure. Um. I'm not sure what that is. So. It, it's just like what that kind of genre. It, it's. Um, oh. The reason why people hate it is because it stands for massive. No. N um. It stands for Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. Hey, grab this dagger. Oh my god, that's sick. <laughs> massive Online Battle Arena? Uh, not massive, I, I messed that up. But Multiplayer oh. Online Battle Arena. Gotcha. And they hate that term, um, understandably, because really that could kind of qualify for anything. Right. <laughs> Oh, right, Lord. like this technically is kind of a massive, or sorry, multiplayer online battle arena. We're just yeah. not fighting each other. Yeah, yeah. Um, so like, but you know, that's kind of what that game genre has been named. So that's how, what I call it. Okay, um, fair enough. But it, it basically, what led into that whole thing? Uh, MOBAs are definitely really difficult. They're they're hard to get into. Is it um, a lot of like PVP type stuff, like League of Legends, or? Y yes, it it is. Uh, Dota, Dota Two is like the exact same game style as League of Legends. Gotcha. And that's um, another game I have downloaded, but I've never really played. <laughs> Yeah, they're both cool. That that's actually a perfect thing that you mentioned that because that's actually what started this whole thing. Now that okay. I remember that. Um, basically, you were saying like uh, the battlefield versus Call of uh, Duty. Call of Duty, and there's right. like this huge following of people who like either love or hate one between the two, and sure. they just spam messages all over the place saying like, "Oh, Dota 2 is better," or "Oh, League is better," and really, they're just games you know? right have you know guys you you download these games you play them to have fun so yeah. just have fun who cares what other people are playing you know that's their business not yours just yeah. just ha play your games to have fun you know that's what it comes down to so. i just don't get how like that's lost with people and right stuff, like and the console one's even more stupid to me. Yeah. Because, oh my god, Xbox is awesome. Oh god, Xbox sucks. Oh, PS4. You know, you're going to play the same games. They're going to play basically the same. Yeah. You know? Now, sure, you can play some of the games on one and some on the other. You know, like Halo, for instance, or, you know, Infamous. You can play on one but not the other. But for the most part, they're going to be exactly the same. And Xbox One, PS4, the specs are almost exactly identical. So, <laughs> you know, I'm just here to have fun. And so, I don't know, that's my take on it. Going off but, of a... <laughs> <laughs> right? A kind of... Off of my rant, my soapbox, right? Well, it's... <laughs> Uh, not just that, but like going in a kind of weird direction, I suppose. Sure. Uh, based on that, what would you choose if if you had if you were going to get one? If I may ask. If I was going to get a PlayStation 4, or Xbox One. Yeah. I would go PS4. Same. Um, I was an Xbox 360 person. I I don't have an X, uh, PS3. Um, loved I, it. Actually. Played, you know, so much Xbox 360. And, you know, the Xbox One actually looks like a lot of fun, you know. Uh, I'm not going off price. I'm not going off specs or any of that kind of stuff. It's yeah. just that some of the stuff that Microsoft has been doing lately, I don't feel comfortable with. Yeah. Um, and it's a lot of saying one thing and then behind, 
your back saying a different thing is what I feel like, you know, like the most recent one, like, oh, all your data from your Kinect won't ever leave your console, only yeah. we're going to sell it to advertising agencies, you know, I, it's just, it's just not cool. I don't yeah. know. I just like, don't feel comfortable with it. Like, but, I, I, I've been an uh, Xbox 360 guy as well, mm -hmm. and never owned a, a PlayStation 3. I, I own a PlayStation 2, but not not a PlayStation 3. Me as well. I had a um, PS1 and a PS2. I, I also have a PlayStation 1. You, you wouldn't happen to have the the one that has its own screen? I don't know. I oh. have the, the original <laughs> big brick, not the slim... <laughs> I colored the lid in with a blue sharpie, so half of it's oh. blue and half of it's gray. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I I'm not knocking the people who are going for the Xbox. And if I had the money, I'd probably buy both, honestly, so I could oh, play whatever. Yeah. It's just I if would... I had to pick one, I'd probably go PlayStation. I would buy a Wii U if I had the money. Not yeah. The Wii U. <laughs> I I have a Wii, and I had a lot of fun with it, you know, and. I think my kids will have a lot of fun with it in about a year or so, and I don't think they'll damage all of the items in my house. But <laughs> wait, um, sorry, a Wii or a Wii U? We have a Wii, just a regular one. Okay, okay, so same so, here as well, actually. Right. I was so hyped for the Wii when it first came out. Dude, I stood in line outside. Me and my friend Kayla were first and second in line uh -huh. um, to get ours, and we camped out for like eight hours oh, beforehand. Man. Which a lot of people are like, oh god, you guys are crazy. Why do you do that? You know, we had a lot of fun. We hung yeah. out, you know. We had like a little mini, not barbecue, but you know, we pretty much camped out. So, uh -huh. it was a lot of fun. And that's, yeah, that sounds pretty awesome. Right? It was much more basic for me. I just bought it. <laughs> right? Got it in the store one day. Well, um, they stopped pre-ordering by us. So, it was if you don't stand in line, uh -oh. you don't get one. Yeah, so yeah. that was motivation <laughs> enough to to stand in line for a little bit. Oh shoot! Look at that chainmail. Oh, um, actually, that's the one that I'm wearing right now. <clears throat> Do you want it? Pretty baller looking chainmail. Um, I can't wear it anyway. So okay, I, I, I so. keep an extra one in my stash so when I die I can equip my new characters. So okay, that that's why I grabbed it. I'll have to think about that stuff because yeah. At, I, at this point, I'm just kind of going free ride, I suppose. Which is There's fine, too, you here. know. Um, you know, we might have to cut this video here pretty soon. I think we're about half an hour now. I, I was actually thinking the same thing. Um, right. I just partially haven't want to stop it because I feel like we've gone into some really awesome discussions. But oh, I definitely. Like to keep my videos at 30 minutes. So um, I've been trying 15 to 30. So okay. Uh, depending on you know longer levels, I'll do a longer video. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, but like, um, if I have to, like the the longest I'd ever want to go is an hour. But the my like go to okay, this is a long video is like 40, 45 minutes. That makes sense, you know. And, you know, it's for your viewers, too. If I have 8, 10 people, 12, you know, that I'm subscribed to, that I'm watching videos every day, I don't want to watch, you know, 10 one-hour-long videos, you know, yeah. so. Yeah, I agree 100%. like to keep it fairly short. Yep. Um, but anyways, uh, I guess we'll be cutting it there, then? Yeah, so sounds good. Uh, teleport back to the Nexus, or do you think we'll be safe just standing here? I think we're good here. <laughs> okay. So. Well, um, anyways, thank you all for watching. Yeah, you thanks. the video, uh, please consider liking and commenting on either of our videos. We're Absolutely. Both awesome, cool dudes. And Sweet. And thanks for playing with me. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's been super cool. We should definitely do this again sometime. Agreed. Like, I had a lot of fun with this. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer. And this is Sea Otter out.